On the 10th of January, 2023, Microsoft will officially end support for Windows 8.1. What does this mean? This means that computers that run Windows 8.1 will no longer receive security updates, bug and other quality fixes, as well as technical support for any issue with Windows 8.1, however your computer with Windows 8.1 will still function like normal. After this date, your computer will become vulnerable to malicious attacks but you can still use your computer, however, as exploits are found in the code, Microsoft will not patch or fix them. What can you do? Number 1. Upgrade to Windows 10 Right now, you can still upgrade to Windows 10 entirely for free and it will be fully activated using your Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 8.1 product key. I made a video on how to upgrade to Windows 10. Although Windows 10 support will end in late 2025, it's still worth it. Windows 10 has a lot of services which I think you might love, such as the new Microsoft Store, and pretty much a supported and up-to-date version of every dead app in Windows 8.1. The system requirements of Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 are pretty much the same. If you can run Windows 8.1, you can run Windows 10. It's definitely worth it. Number 2. Get a new PC with Windows 11. Windows 11 will not run on your Windows 8.1 computer, Windows 11 has pretty high system requirements. But what I would recommend is to upgrade to Windows 10, make sure you back up your files to OneDrive, which is 5GB for free and a whopping 1TB for personal license of Microsoft 365, which is basically the new version of Office. You can then buy a computer with Windows 11 and transfer your data using the feature in the out-of-box experience. You can use some third-party software to transfer data or even physically move your hard drive and upgrade it to Windows 11, although I do not recommend that. Number 3. Switch to Mac I personally do not have any experience with macOS. I do recommend it for people who do not want to use Microsoft services or just want to use Mac instead. You can switch to Mac using their own assistant which transfers your data from Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, Windows 10, or Windows 11 to macOS. You can also install Windows on your Mac with Apple's Boot Camp, and you can have both Windows and macOS on your Mac. Number 4. Switch to Linux. If you hate Microsoft so much, and you are tech savvy, you can install a Linux distro on your computer such as Ubuntu, Pop! OS, Linux Mint, Arch Linux and a lot more. I don't have much experience with Linux but I still wouldn't recommend this option. Number 5. Switch to Chromebook. If you ONLY use computer for browsing, and when I say ONLY, I mean ONLY. Chrome OS is a weird operating system, it's made by Google and it sucks. Just kidding, it's basically a mobile OS optimized for PC and instead of apps it's just websites. Number 6. Use a smartphone. Windows 8 was released in 2012. This was a time when smartphones were in a weird place. They were new, so a lot of what was meant to happen on smartphones was done on computers back then. Now you can do a lot of things on smartphones, but I think everyone should have a computer, whether it's Mac, Windows, or both. Thanks for watching guys, this was my first scripted video. It was inspired by Bingacat's video on Windows Vista and of support. Make sure to like and subscribe.